and contained. I think at some other point they said it was only 5% contained. I'm like, this thing is not, not it's unquenchable not, fire. Yeah, it's not going to get put out, you know. Instead of people praying for these firefighters to, you know, pray and hope that they put it out, you know, y'all should pray for them firefighters to come to our Heavenly Father and stop trying to put out something that's not going to get put out. Yes. You know? Exactly. Exactly. I totally understand that. Um, yeah, so we're going to move on from from that. But most definitely keep your eyes open to all these wildfires because they're all across the world. Greece, Spain, Portugal. I mean, they're everywhere, guys. So yeah. make sure to pay attention. Yeah, firefighters, you know, just keep losing their lives and stuff. Badly. Yeah, they you do. Know. Forgot about that. Yeah. Firefighters are not invincible. No, they're you know, not. So. They're not God. Exactly. But people like to play God, so. Yeah. But something we haven't really spoken about is these droughts that are happening in certain places. I don't know if you guys have been hearing about these droughts, but um, basically they leave you without water and crops. And, you know, a lot of farmers and stuff um, are saying that it's making it very hard on them. And, and basically people and animals that live off of the land, it is making it very hard for them. Um, have you been hearing anything about these, these droughts or anything? Uh, I haven't came across them that much. I came across like something about Puerto Rico and like their food supply being behind like a building and their whole, you know, there's like thousands of people just starving. Over yeah. There. And they run on their last food and they just got some pile of aid sitting behind the building rotten and stuff. Which is awful. Because that's food being wasted. Yeah. So these droughts, you know, just like more famine. It's like they're trying yeah. to just. You know, destroy all the food. Yeah, they are. Trying to compromise all the, the food. And yeah, stuff. It's and it's crazy. like natural food. Yeah, the natural, natural food. food. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, spiritually, because that's what we're about. Spiritually, these droughts are happening because this is a godless world. Okay. The Most High says there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Him in the land. So therefore, that's why these droughts are happening. Um, and and what happens without our heavenly Father? Yeah, stuff wither and dies. Thank you. They become barren and dried up. But I like the way you said it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, the land is drying up, guys. It's becoming barren. It is becoming barren, which is why the, the land mourns. The Most High says in Hosea 4, three, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Okay? So, um, like I said, that's why the land mourns. Because, I mean, it's becoming barren and dried up. Um, and there's been a lot of fish most definitely dying. I think you just you just said something about the fish dying or whatever. Yeah, the fish dying. Yeah, like the whole coast, like miles of just dead fish. You know, it's just like crazy. You can't even... Yeah. And there's a lot of, I think I was talking to you yesterday, there's a lot of animals that eat fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of animals that eat fish, and then we eat fish. So, I mean, if you're thinking about those both, I mean, what are we going to eat? Like, you know, like. Yeah, so they're killing the food in the water, too. Yep. As well. Exactly. And like you said, just killing off all food, like, in all their different ways, you know. And, And a good bit of other animals are on the brink of extinction as well. I mean, you see the commercials and stuff, and. They talk about, you know, what animals that they want to save out there, I guess. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, but when it comes to people, you know, y'all shouldn't be afraid or, or panic because of the food shortage or something. You know, our Heavenly Father is your nutrition. Yes. You know, you shouldn't be solely dependent on food, you know, anyway. We do not live off bread alone. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. Yeah, but... um. Exactly, but but someone else that's on the brink of extinction <laughs> is people. Um, a uh, a lot more rare type sicknesses are popping up. People are you know randomly getting sick. And if you guys go listen to my uh, Kim Trails and Sickness podcast, I mean I kind of went in depth about that as well, the sicknesses and stuff. Yeah. Um, but one of the deadliest ones is now resurfacing, which is Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that killer. Yep. In West Africa, Ebola has returned, and they are saying they must move fast in order to try and prevent it from spreading. They said a couple people are already infected, you know, and um, 
we already know how this goes, guys. They'll probably bring it here and affect people or infect somebody, you know. But yeah, get it to spread. Yeah. But how I see it is, you know, them warning and reminding us of pestilence. You know what I mean? Oh, because Ebola hasn't been out for a minute. It's been some years, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it comes out big and then they die back now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they keep you reminded. They yeah, keep you reminded true. of the pestilence. Yeah. You know, also just another sign to pay attention to, you know, and that our Lord warned us of. He said he would return during during the generation that sees these signs happening. So, I mean, and, and I will say there's a certain amount of people that will die. So, I mean, that's probably why they're bringing back Ebola. It's one of the deadliest um, sicknesses out here. Yeah, the most extreme and probably quick killing, too. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, honestly, everything that we just spoke about can lead to death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and how you were saying that uh, the weather is so furious and, and so, you know, quick to come and, and happen and, and the impact is so great, you know. I mean, like I said, pretty much anything can kind of lead to death at this point, you know. Yeah, anything can just pop out of nowhere. Yeah. And, like, get you. Yeah, exactly. Things are truly playing out as it is written. Um, You know, and I I don't know, you know, there's not really much to say about Ebola, but I just wanted to definitely, like, throw that out there because, I mean, like I said, it's one of the deadliest things, and if they bring it back here, I mean... Yeah, we definitely try to keep our humble listeners informed. Yeah, but like I said, I mean, a certain amount of people is supposed to die, so... (laughs) Like I said, it's probably why they're bringing it. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, America wow. and, and just the world, period, is being watched very closely, you know, and is about to be judged. Believe in our true Lord, and ye shall be saved. I mean, that is what is already written. Only through our Lord can we reach the kingdom of heaven. That is written. Yeah. So stay watchful and prayerful, you know, because, I mean... It seems like the four horsemen are at work and soon to do more damage, is what it's seeming like. You know, Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been rumors of wars, famine, death in different ways, you know, and there's been plenty of warnings and and still is of the Antichrist. Um, So, as I said, you know, we have to be paying attention. So, I mean, do you have any ending words for everyone, number of names? closing this out because this is all crazy you know like i said we must truly believe in our in our heavenly father we must truly believe in our lord and i mean only through our lord can we be saved exactly be protected and, and have life and when our lord say life more abundantly he mean then you know after this life you know they they live eternally so that's what he's speaking about life and life more abundantly because this life is nothing but a vapor Yes. You know, so when people are trying to, you know, throw that verse and like, oh, he came to give us life and life more abundantly, that, you know, that's not meaning your money or riches or material things. Yeah, that's not here. Yeah, that's not here. So just, you know, cling to our Lord during these times and really gain knowledge and get closer to him yes. and stay watchful. Yes, exactly. That's beautiful. Okay, well, you know, repent, guys, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All praise to the Most High for allowing us to do this, mm-hmm. who was, is, and obviously is to come. Is to come, yes. Thank you guys for tuning in and, and even caring about what's really going on in life and the world and, you know, and listening to us and coming to us. You know, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's um, real. Because, uh, like I said, there, there's a lot more. I'm going to run through it real quick. Let me see. I'm just going to say a couple of things that's been that we didn't uh, just go in depth about. But I mean, there was like an unusual fog over Argentina. There's been uh, gigantic dust storms. Um, there's been uh, you know scary uh, sights in the skies uh, because of wildfires and just because <laughs> of storms. Period. But our but our Lord told us that we would see. Uh, like fe- fearful sights and, and things like that. So okay. um, there's been uh, sinkholes. There's been just, you know, the whole street collapsing. Uh, there's been massive landslides, mudslides. Uh, the floods are still increasing. And go listen to our flood uh, episode as well. We did an episode on the floods. Yeah. Um, there's been still wildfires across the world. Um, There's been magnitude 7 earthquakes in Indonesia. Uh, What else? There was a partial solar eclipse in China. 
uh, a landslide in India, um, a street collapse due to the flooding, though, not like a sinkhole. Mm -hmm. There was another earthquake and volcano eruption in Chile. So they had an earth, they had an earthquake and a volcano eruption in Chile, like right after each other. In um, Switzerland, they had a mudslide. And then I think in Europe, in Saudi Arabia, I think they had a flooding. And then right after that, they had like a, a massive like heat wave. So that was crazy. And they were all like, like tripping out about that. Um, but yeah, there's been floods in Austria. There's been floods in France, south of France. Unprecedented floods in New Jersey. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it's been a lot. Incredible UFO cloud in Russia. I mean, you know, we talked about the hail storms. They're, they've been like everywhere. So, I mean... Things are happening all across the world. All across the world, guys. You know, we don't got enough time to say everything's... Be and that's only been in August. August 2018. Like, that. that's all just been in August. And we coming up at the end of the second week in August. Exactly. So, I mean... So we're not even done with the month yet. We're not even done. So, we wow. might have to come back. Come <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, man. Okay, well, I yeah. hope you guys enjoy this. And um, shout out to you if you are listening on my app or the website. You can download my app in the Google Play Store, Humbly Spirited. And to listen on the website, just visit HumblySpirited.com. And uh, you can also listen on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Music, TuneIn, and Stitcher. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, thank you to the oh-so-humble one. Uh, thank you, Humble Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Humble Redeem. Um, make sure you guys slide on over to patreon.com slash humbly spirited for exclusive uh, episodes only for our Patreons. There should be a new episode coming, so make sure to check that out and just keep checking back. Um, Humble Redeem will be joining me for another exclusive Patreon only episode, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Good, but uh, y'all just give us a little time for that. But in the meantime, just go check out the Unlocked um episodes we have about maybe three i think that's unlocked so you guys go yeah. check that out and thank you to has been checking it out i really appreciate that but y'all yeah, gotta click that become love. a patreon button <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but uh we appreciate the love though either way it goes um yeah love and support the truth man and exactly. spread the truth exactly we do this for y'all and we do this for our heavenly father so yeah i mean either way it's whatever you know <laughs> yeah we we always ready to come in the booth you know, for always and put in some work yep so okay guys you know always seek knowledge always seek the word of our heavenly father and most importantly always seek him truly and wholeheartedly yes always okay keep your eyes open see the truth within the lies put on your full armor and you know continue to spread love and light everywhere you go okay and continuing on that path of righteousness every day Okay, so like I said, thank you, Humble Redeem, and uh, be kind to one another always. This is Humble Spirit, and this is Humble Redeem. Stay humble. And may the Most High be with you all.